What's up everyone, I'm Nick from Tectacular, and if you're clicking on this video, then chances are you've had the same amount of frustration as me when it comes to Bluetooth and Windows. But we're hopefully going to eliminate all of that, and we're going to start by making sure everything is updated. So, let's check the headphones or your earbuds. So, most headphones or earbuds use some sort of companion app with your smartphone, so download it if you haven't already, connect them, and use that to update them. Then we need to check the Bluetooth drivers on your PC or laptop. So open the Windows search bar and type Device Manager. Then in the list of devices, find Bluetooth and open the group. I should note that if Bluetooth isn't listed here, your PC doesn't have Bluetooth, um, but you can add it with some awesome little handy adapters and more on that later in the video. Now, I have six devices here. For you, it might be less. This is because when you connect a Bluetooth device to Windows, it automatically will download and install a Bluetooth driver for that specific device. So we wanna make sure all of this is updated. So right click on each one and select update driver. Then click search automatically. After it's done, it might say that it's up to date, but it wants to search for um, possible drivers in a Windows update. Click that because it might end up finding one. And if it does, it is worth installing it and giving it a go. But we should also check if there's a new driver version available for the Intel one listed here. And this can be found on the support or downloads page for your specific motherboard or laptop. So if you're using a laptop, just Google your laptop model. And if you're on a desktop like I am, just Google your motherboard model. So the Bluetooth driver listed for mine is 22.100. Let's cross check that with the installed driver by right clicking on it and going into properties and then the driver tab. It says here 22.160. So since that one is newer, then I don't have to worry. But if your installed one is older, then just download and install the new version. So now everything is updated. Let's move on to some tricks to improve things further. We're gonna check that your headphones are actually paired to Windows correctly. To do this, go to the Bluetooth window settings and check the device that's listed. If the device name has an LE in front of it, then you've connected to the headphones low power or efficiency mode. And this, as you can expect, is gonna have pretty bad audio quality. To fix this, unpair the headphones and then set them to pairing mode again and start scanning for them. Wait at least 10 seconds to give your PC plenty of time to show all available devices. If the only thing that shows up is your device name with no LE in front, sweet, connect to that one, you're all good. If only one shows up and it has LE in front, then you'll need to wait a bit longer for the one without it to pop up. Some users have reported having to wait around 30 seconds for it to show up, so give it some time and it'll get there. So now you're connected to the right device, let's go into the sound settings, going to the audio icon at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Right click on it and click sounds. Click the playback tab and you should see your headphones somewhere in the list. Sometimes when you connect your headphones over Bluetooth, there'll be two different audio devices shown like this. You want to make sure it's connected to only the normal one, the one that with stereo on the end and not the hands-free one. So right click on the normal one, click connect and set it as the default device and default communication device. Then right click on the hands-free one, click disable. That way Windows will only connect to the one that you want. Now let's go into the properties. Go to enhancements and see what's enabled there. If headphone virtualization or loudness equalization is enabled, disable them. You can try enabling bass boost and see if it makes a difference. For me, with my Sony headphones, there was a small but noticeable difference, so I left it checked because it was a little bit of an improvement. After all that, your Bluetooth headphones should be sounding amazing in the way that they should. If not, it's possible that the desktop or laptop you're using could just be a bit old and it's using an older Bluetooth chipset. In that case, I would suggest heading over to Amazon and picking up one of these fantastic Bluetooth adapters that plugs straight into the 3.5 millimeter headphone port. There's all sorts of them on there and most of them are pretty cheap too. I'll leave a link down below. Now you won't have to deal with bad Bluetooth ever again. If this video was helpful, make sure to drop a like. I'd really appreciate it. And while you're down there, feel free to subscribe as well for more helpful tutorials and some really cool reviews as well. Thanks for watching. My name is Nick. This is Tectacular. You've been spectacular. See you next time.